Of course, then it is the international break, and Richie Pochettino named his first roster as he takes charge of the, the US. No real surprises actually here at all. Gio Reyna's out because of injury. Zach Steffen back in the squad for the first time uh, since 2022, I suppose. The headlines, if you're looking for something out of this. Uh, you're gonna, I don't think me and you have p crossed paths since Pochettino has, has uh, been given the job. Is he the right appointment, in your opinion? I think he is a fantastic appointment. I think he lifts uh, um, the mood, uh, for, yeah, with all the soccer fans in this country because uh, obviously uh, he has experience on the highest level. You know, he played the game himself, so he can show the players a bit where he comes from as a player. But then also look at that resume he has as a manager. You know, being in different parts of the world and uh, having a lot, a lot of experience. And uh, uh, having a good idea also what it means, you know, on the Hispanic side of things, you know, which is a big part in the United States. I think it's a, it's a massive appointment. Appointment. It's exciting. Um, I'm really thrilled about it. Uh, keep my fingers crossed for him. It's not going to be an easy one. I mean, for sure not, because uh, obviously the expectations are also high. You go to a World Cup in your own country. Um, it will rock in two years from now, hopefully. <laughs> and, uh, and he doesn't have any qualifying games. So this is, uh, it's, it's tricky mm. because he's playing pretty much only, only friendly games. They have the, the, gold, the Gold Cup next summer as a kind of a little competition, but you cannot compare the Gold Cup to a Copa America or a European Championship. Um, so, so he doesn't have um, much of highly competitive matches, but... Uh, I think the appointment is very exciting and uh, I'm sure that the, the players are excited as well. Uh, Jürgen, just one more. If he, if he rang you and said, Mr. Klinsman, I believe you were in charge of the US uh, back in the day. What advice would you offer me going into this job? What would you say to him? Oh, I mean, Maurizio doesn't need any advice from, from other coaches, but I'm sure he reaches out to, play, to people that know the US uh, soccer environment a, a little bit. He will, you know, make his calls and he will ask some questions, which is just normal. You no know, matter where you go, you always try to figure out things, you know, how they do it, you know, how is it different to what you were doing before. And he will do that as well. But it's good that he comes in fresh. It's good that he comes in with his own ideas. He's proven that he can, can work with especially young players, make them better, especially at Spurs. He's done a tremendous good job at Spurs and guide them, make them bigger, bigger, bigger players than they were before. And this is the hope. And then, obviously, he can give you confidence. Um, and, and his background speaks for itself. So, but if he reaches out, then for sure, you know, you have a nice cup of coffee and uh, you give your opinion, yeah. no problem. And say, don't talk to Seb or Herc. Don't listen to what they have to say. <laughs> I think that's very much the headline. Uh, by the